Hello, my name is Jonathan Palmer. I'm a game designer and I wanted to show off some of the fractal terrain that I've been working on. I use a diamond square algorithm to generate the terrain. It's slightly modified and it combines both steps together. It's recursive. The way that the diamond square algorithm works is we start with four corners of a large region. We find a center point, vary the height of that center point a little bit, and then we find a diamond around that center point and then using the diamond and the corners, we generate a new center point of a quadrant. From there, we vary that height slightly based on the four corners, and we recursively continue this until we've adjusted every single point on our grid. The grid size is 257 by 257, um, so it has a lot of points to it. I use slight coloring to the different levels of the terrain to better show the changes in elevation with this limited rendering capability. I set up interpolation for the terrain so that way we can watch it change between multiple different terrains and we can see how it can be varied. So let me turn that on and we can watch for a little bit. I'll turn it back on at a particular moment. So right now we see a much more mountainous region with high peaks, which are redder compared to the water, which has a bluer hue to it if we rotate and look under it. Um, the water is actually a separate plane, but I just use it as a height check to sort of say this is sea level. So I'm going to turn this back on and we can watch it just run. Now, the terrains will vary significantly. There are some general patterns that it will fall into of having large peaks. It won't really get like large flat areas or hills or such like that. But you can, you can adjust the algorithm and change the smoothing that you apply to it in order to get more terrain features like that. I also have set up a smoothing function, which will go through, and it's a linear smooth. It will go through every single point and just kind of even them out a bit. So if we apply it, you can see the effects very quickly. It sort of makes everything very polished, very smooth, but it doesn't look too great if you do it too many times. We sort of let the world take on this flat, uninteresting quality. So I'm going to turn back on the interpolation, and it will just pull that smoothing right out. And we get back to the sharp, more detailed, rigid terrain that I had before. I also have a pan set up, which we can just let it rotate around, and we can just watch. So I'm just going to let you guys watch for a little bit. Um, this is John Palmer. I have a website, www.jonathanpalmergd.com. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in contacting me, feel free to send an email to my website. I have a contact form on there. Um, I'm happy to discuss if you have any questions, or feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. John Palmer, signing out.